Hey crew and welcome back to another Spray Castle tutorial. Alright, so I went ahead and I just did this. My hands are still <laughs> pretty dirty from doing this. I just spray painted this bottle. Uh, took another... Yeah, remember guys, you have to drink the entire contents or otherwise this is just not gonna work. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't drink and spray. It never works out. Anyways, I just did this painting. I added some colors here in the background. If you guys want to learn how to create this bottle, the last tutorial we made showed you how I created this bottle. I'll do a quick rundown before moving forward, though. Basically, what I did is I added some colors. In this case, it, it was uh, red, orange, blue, and a little bit of white. Then I went ahead and I covered this entire bottle piece with white. Just completely white. Then I added, be, remember guys, white is our neutral color. Neutral is gloss black and gloss white. When you have neutral colors, you can put colors on top of them. So I covered this up with our neutral color, gloss white. Then I added some orange, I mean some yellow, some orange, a little bit of red here on the top, a little bit of blue on top of that, and just kind of blended it all in together. So you couldn't see where we sprayed our colors beneath, but I knew where they were at. You can, you can tell, you can kind of see the outline. So then I took this soft, this soft, uh, I call it the Spray Castle tool, and you guys can find this at Hobby Lobby. Now, don't go looking for the Spray Castle name brand. I no longer make my tools. Uh, if I call these the Spray Castle tools, it's because I'm so used to it, guys. There's not a name for these tools. I've had this question many, many times. These tools, guys, are made by different manufacturers. This one is the Sculpty tool right here, and this one's tool 457, I think. It just depends. So, you know, just to save, just to save time, guys, go to Hobby Lobby, look for something that looks like this. Don't go looking for the Spray Castle brand. I no longer make my tools, but I still call them the Spray Castle tool. You know what I'm talking about, right? When I say that, tool like this. Okay, so take your Spray Castle tool. This is a soft tip. Uh, you can find this, like I said, at any Hobby Lobby. Then I went back and I smeared the colors together. Go take a look at my tutorial if you want to go into more detail as to how I created the bottle. What we're going to do today is we're going to add a glass to this painting. I know I've had this question asked many times. Yes, you can do different glasses. You can do a fruit bowl. With this technique right here, I'll show you how I create my glass. And then uh, perhaps on, the, on a future tutorial, we'll create a glass bowl and put some fruits inside of it. All right, for now, you're going to need... This tool right here, Spray Castle tool. A flat surface. This is a straight edge where I paint on. I'm going to add a little bit of, um, I don't know, I think I'll use a little bit of yellow. Yeah, just like that. I'm going to come in here. Uh, I think maybe we'll do something like... Guys, this tool is very, very versatile. You can do so many techniques with this. All right, so this is going to be the liquid, the contents inside of our glass. All right. Basically, what we're doing is we're tapping into our paint. Right, tap, tap, tap. We come back over here and we begin to add definition as to the shape of the glass. All right, so this is what we've created so far. All right, you can kind of get the shape of what I'm trying to do here. Yeah, all right, so now what we're going to do is, and I don't mind if it gets a little, a little yellow in there as well. I'm going to use my my white okay guys for the yellow i used rustoleum for my white i'm using color place this is the walmart brand guys this i love this brand i really do but for some reason they no longer make yellow or orange um now in case you guys didn't know yellow and orange are the colors that are a little bit more expensive to make uh, i've had to learn this as i'm making my own brand of spray paints they're also a little bit more expensive so just for your information all right, here we go. A little bit of yellow. I mean, a little bit of uh, white. 
it's going to come in and add some definition to the edges. You want some of these colors to mix as well. Look at that. Can you see the glass effect beginning to take place? Yep, there is nothing you guys can't do with spray paints. Absolutely nothing. Look at that. Very easy, very quick. You're able to create very... Uh, maybe step away from the light a little bit. And see, this is just a few strokes, guys. All we did is put some yellow on the top, smear this down, a little bit white here on the bottom, and the glass begins to take shape. You can also add some highlights here to your bottle. I wouldn't at this point, but uh, anyways, stay tuned. All right, Cruz, so what we're going to do now is right here, we're just going to... like this to create a reflection and then we're going to put a straight edge on this guys just like that boom put that on there do a few little light colors to represent some of the colors uh, up above guys if, if i put the camera at this angle it's only because it seems to get a better effect you guys are able to get a better view of the bottle um, without the light reflecting so much on it but this is what it looks like All right, let's continue. Like I said, I'm just going to put a straight edge right here, guys. Reflect some of the colors up above, below as well. Maybe add the dream technique and go around it to kind of focus the attention onto the bottles, uh, onto the glass in the bottle. All right, crew, so there you have it. Another Spray Castle tutorial in just a few minutes. Um, let me show you something else. Okay, so we're going to use her gloss black. Remember, this is also a neutral color. We're going to add a little bit of black here on the bottom. This is what I call the dream technique, guys. And this is basically where I fade the painting or fade black into the painting. Now, what I'm having to do, I have I have some nails here to, to hold my painting in place. So I'm just going to make sure we go around that pretty good. So it doesn't show whenever we take our painting out. I'm just going to add a little bit here. And eh, what do you guys think? All right, now using the very, uh, the using, um, I was going to say a very sharp, but this is not very sharp. This is just uh, using the pointed end on the Spray Castle tool. I'm going to come here. I'm going to add a little bit of gloss. Remember, guys, gloss will give... You're painting just that, a nice glass uh, effect. Now, I hope, let me put on, let me put the camera here, on a, right here. See how you can see how the spray paint over a little bit of spray, so it kind of goes dull. When you add the gloss coat on top of it, it looks really nice and shiny. But a lot of people tell me, your paintings always look so glossy. How do you do it? Right here, guys. I'm using Rust-Oleum Clear Enamel. Gonna go a few a few sprays back and forth. What I was gonna do is I'm still gonna do it. I'm gonna sign the painting, but while I'm at it, now you don't wanna completely saturate your your spray paint on this because it'll eventually get wet and start smearing down. Especially if you have uh, a little stand like the one I've made here, guys. If you don't know how I made this stand, go take a look at my tutorial. I'll put a link below. And basically, it's just a fan box. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's come over here. Spray Castle. 
2015. All right, crew. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please link them below. Don't be afraid to like and subscribe. And we'll cre be creating more spray paint tutorials as we proceed. I think for the next tutorial, I have a few questions for you guys. Uh, if most of you want to learn the glass technique a little bit better, maybe we can do, like I was talking about earlier, some, some fruits, maybe a glass bowl. Uh, I can definitely show you those techniques. But you guys got to let me know what you want to learn. All right, guys, until next time, keep those cans spraying. We'll see you soon.